Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Scabbles and today I have something a little bit different. I've never built one, built one of these or bought one of these before so we're going to check this out. This is a product from RT Dioramas. They do loads of different types of stuff on factories, buildings, small towns, buildings like this which is a freight storage, freight shed which I'm going to use for my long term project which I'm in the currently building which is my railway diorama type piece so this is going to work perfectly for that um, I will leave the link in the description of where you can get these products from they do their own website they do tons of cool stuff this is 135 scale and it is um, plaster Paris they do different types of um, resin stuff and they do ceramic uh, buildings as well which are a little bit more expensive but a little bit more tougher um, also, the chance of these getting broken are quite high in transport. They are fragile, so bear that in mind. My one in this box is in pretty good nick. I've already checked it out, as you can see the box is open. They are made in Germany, so bear that in mind as well. They are can be a little bit pricey, and bear in mind the shipping can be quite high because of the way the world is at the moment, and plus the weight of their product. Um, again, if parts get broken, I'm not sure how good their replacement parts are because you could end up buying a replacement and it could end up breaking again anyway so if it's not too badly damaged they can be fixed quite easily so let's take a look what we get inside this one so this is top opening box pretty sturdy stuff these parts here is for the roof material they do a lot of laser cut stuff for windows and doors and stuff like that you can see that I've already had to check this one out. We will take a closer look at parts like this. It's well packaged with bubble wrap. So this is the uh, quality of the... Uh, mine is plaster house. So this is a step. This is part of the uh, walkway. These are the blocks. These are pillars. This is the part of the uh, wall which is partly damaged. You can have it, uh, the back part is blown out. These triangle gussets are part of the roof assembly. You get four of those. This section here is part of the uh, walls with the doors or windows. It's your choice of how you want to set it up. This one's the main wall. This is a part of the wall which is damaged. Again, you don't have to use these segments. This is one of the main walls, which the uh, arch uh, barn doors type segment that we'll go into. We have another segment of wall and a doorway. Another segment with a window or door. And that's what's inside that one. So a closer look now. So one thing you do not get is instructions. Sometimes you get some kind of diagram on the back sometimes. Or a weird piece of paper. But generally you just have to figure it out yourself. Plus because it's a building you can do build it however you want. So there's no right or wrong. So as I say, this very, very first piece we're going to look at is the laser cut products. So we have a laser cut doors. So these are your barn doors. Pretty good. Um, if you're going to want to add hinges and handles, all of that kind of thing, you're going to have to make yourself or scratch build. They just give you the basics. This section is a door. Again, there's no clear. You're going to have to source the uh, plastic or glass yourself. I know there is some products that do give you some extras uh, clear parts and there are tons of stuff that they do to add to this so this is a matter of working it out um, these are the windows again laser cut nicely done there is no back side of the uh, door again if you want to do that you're going to have to uh, scratch build it within this bag these are plastic parts that have been moulded to mimic corrugated uh, metal like sheeting. 
So you're going to want to weather this up, make it shiny, rusty, rain streaks, moss, lichen, all of that kind of good stuff to make it well weathered. And they they have a slight overlap to, to extend the roof along. They give you more than enough to go along the roof segments. This segment here is one of the main walls. It looks pretty good. This section here is another main wall. It's optional windows or doors, however you want to do this. But you pretty much just line up the parts like this as you go along. We have four of these segments, which are parts of the roof. So if we have this segment here, and say this segment here, we should be actually not that one. We want something like this one or this one. Once it's cleaned up a little bit, they'll go side by side. And then this one is going to fit on top. Um, it's a case of working out which is the which. I think these are the two right parts. And then there are two lefts and two rights, so they will meet. So this is going to make up the uh, front part of the building. I am planning not to do it like it is on the box, I'm going to plan to make it just one long square building. So I'm going to have this is one side of the wall. And then the other entrance, which will be this is where the barn doors are. So hopefully this should be the same same length. Yeah it is, so it's the same length, so I can have this as one long building. Another smaller segment with a uh, window or door. There is no flooring, so you're going to have to make that yourself. We have this segment here, which is part of the uh, doorway or window, but it's damaged. Again, these are, if you want it, it's blown up. Or well, part of it's been blown out. Same as this section, this is part of a wall, which has been blown out. We have these pillars, which should be inside the uh, building. It's going to hold up the roof probably. We get four of these. Now you get the steps for the little uh, walkway segment. So this is going to go like this. This is the top of the uh, walkway. So you can have it this side with the blocks molding, or you can have it just concrete one piece is up to you but this is going to go like that and then the pieces underneath that are these concrete blocks so how you're going to want to build this is like this put this one on the end measure that up roughly that's going to go roughly there and then these other two blocks is roughly going to go in the middle give or take roughly And that's going to make up the walkway for the building. So the rough building looks like. So there you are, I'll quickly roughly put the building together. Just to give you a rough idea what it can potentially look like. I want to do mine roughly like this. Um, but as for the roof struts for the uh, corrugated parts, you're going to have to build that yourself. For these to rest against. So there you are my friends, there's another product from RT Dioramas, it's a freight shed, 135 scale. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.